When you love your job, it may be tough to walk away at retirement. In his latest I Have a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Brad Wilson and Curtis Akers introduced us to a man from Henrico who is staying in the game even though his playing days are far behind him. Been doing it for years. Along Chamberlain Ave in Lakeside. It won't work good. Not a clubhouse or caddy in sight. Look good. But to Pete Brooks, uh -huh. his backyard oasis no cut in there. might as well be Pebble Beach or Pinehurst. Pete's playing days are far behind him. Cut the ball. They cut the ball all the way around here. But the 78-year-old never really left the sport. Yeah, right here. He spends his days knee-deep in dimples. I come out here, green golf ball. Boxes and boxes of used balls. Old ball, you see, hey, cut you. Pete is finding a little green. The ball is here. In what golfers lose. Good ball. Refurbishing and reselling from top flight Tidy. to Titleist. Tidy ball. No, I'm good here. Prices range from a dime to a dollar. When we met him eight years ago, he was selling them, and he's still selling them today. Rich Walden says Pete's part-time job gives his friend full-time purpose. In Mr. Pete's empty shed where all the golf balls used to be, he had boxes and boxes of them, and recently, before the pandemic, he sold them. At Paz Dogs and Ma's Burgers, they sell more than breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're slinging Mr. Pete's golf balls. 18 for 20 bucks. Pete's golf balls are as popular as the daily special. And you'd be surprised how many people show up that are golfers that know Mr. Pete. The restaurant, thank you, sugar, is also a chip shot from where Pete's life nearly ended. 60 years ago, an 18 year old Pete was strolling along Brook Road. Mr. Pete was hit by a car, actually two cars that I understand, when he was 18 years old walking to work. Pete would spend seven months in the hospital, <coughs> the crash leaving him with lifelong scars on the inside and out. His destination that day, Lakeside Park Club, a golf course where Pete toiled on and off as greenskeeper for more than 30 years. The golf course sort of gave him a job and gave him his life, and that's all he ever knows. He took care of that golf course until the day he retired. Yeah, that's good, Big Daddy. Yeah, I miss him like, like my shadow on a sunny day. <laughs> Former colleague, <laughs> Lindsey Cooper, Jr. My friendship with Pete, it's like a brotherhood. Pete can't stay away from the course for too long. When his collection of lost balls runs low, I'm glad you're doing okay, though. Yeah, did I? He can always depend on a call from friends at LPC. We got, a, we got old Pete over here. To replenish his supply. What do you think? Mm hmm. Got a couple. Mm -hmm. You need help loading them up? He was coming to get his golf balls. Pete loves selling some golf balls in there. <laughs> and just about every ball looked like a brand new ball once he get clean enough. He may no longer play. But Pete is still in the game. Okay, you be safe, okay? Okay. I'll talk to you. Taking a swing at a side hustle where Pete Brooks' work ethic is never under par. Yeah, I want to buy a golf ball. It means the world to him. It really does. It's a little extra income. But on side here. And he likes to see people enjoy getting a deal on some good balls. Wow. <laughs> It's amazing. I mean, the fact is, I would want all those because I don't. I lose all the good new ones, and I want those. I just like that he gets to continue to do what he loves. Yeah. It's awesome. And you can watch all of Greg's I Have a Story segments anytime you'd like. They're streaming. Just search WTVR Richmond on your smart device.